There's so much contradicting information out there when it comes to attracting money. You have one side of the spectrum who is all about taking massive action, be a bulldozer, work hard, do whatever it takes, regardless of how you feel. And then you have the other side of the spectrum, the Zen, the Zen approach, approach, the secret mentality. You just need to visualize and it will come into your field. What I love so much about Dr. Joe Dispenza's approach to attracting wealth and attracting money is he brings the two together. Yes, we need to use the quantum field because before it is made manifest in the physical, it must be made manifest in the energetic realm. But you also need to take action. You also need to show up for yourself even when it's difficult, even when it's scary to do it, you still need to take action. And that's what Joe Dispenza's approach is all about. So today I want to share with you Joe Dispenza's five-step wealth formula. This is going to help you attract so much money into your life. For me personally, just in the 12 months I've been integrating what I'm about to share with you, I've quadrupled my income where I was working for somebody full time and it wasn't in alignment with who I was anymore. And I knew I wanted something bigger, so I left and I integrated everything that I'm about to share with you and my income quadrupled in a really short time. So I feel so confident that when you integrate these five steps, you will not recognize your life in just six months. You will not recognize your life. It's going to be so amazing, so epic. At the end of today's video, I'm going to walk you through a seven day challenge to really accelerate these steps so that it's not so heady, it's not filling your head up with more information, it's something you embody, and something you really integrate into your life. Because if we want to be great, we must integrate, as they say. Step one, Dr. Joe Dispenza's five-step formula. Step one is to get clear with what your current beliefs are about money. He would say we're always running a program, right? We're always running a program and we have beliefs about money that stem from our childhood, that stem from our environment, that stem from our past experiences. And if we don't shine a light on them, they're always going to unconsciously control us. So the very first step before we do anything, we have to put a light on what we currently believe. And we must do this with the utmost compassion. And we must do this with radical honesty, knowing that there's no right or wrong, okay? There's just things that are more in alignment to what we want, and there's things that are out of alignment to what we want. So let's take a moment and clearly identify what our current beliefs are about money. So the way you can integrate this is you can just journal for five to 10 minutes and just write whatever comes up. What do I currently believe to be true about money? I believe it's bad. I believe that I don't have enough. I believe that things are expensive. X, Y, Z, whatever comes up for you, just let it out. Five to 10 minutes, just journal to the question, what do you currently believe to be true about money? This is going to be tremendously healing in and of itself. We can't build on a foundation that has so much mud and crud. We must clear the foundation so that we can stack empowering beliefs on top of it, to use a simple analogy. So now that we've emptied ourselves from the unconscious beliefs and we've gotten clear with them, we can move into step two. Step two is clearly identify who you need to become to achieve your wealth goals. Another way of articulating this is what are the beliefs you need to embody to 
effortlessly attract more money into your life. You don't necessarily need to believe these things to be true right now, but what would you have to believe to be true in order to super accelerate your wealth attraction? This is another really fun thing to journal. Set a timer for five to 10 minutes and ask yourself, what would I have to believe to be true in order to attract a lot of money into my life? What are the habits and the characteristics that I would have to embody to attract more money into my life. Step two, Joe Dispenza would guide you through, is get clear with who you need to become to achieve your goals. Who must you be? What is that state? What is that frequency? Step three, piggybacking off of step two, embody that new state of being every single day. We know who we need to be to attract more money now. All we have to do now is embody that. We need to tap into that energetic field so that we can become the superconductor and attractor that we are at our core. You are already attracting everything into your life. So it's not about doing something you've never done before. It's about realizing what you're already doing and becoming incredibly intentional with what you're doing becoming incredibly conscious with what you're doing. So step three is embody this new state of being every single day. And you can do this by, there's a lot of ways you can do this, right? You can listen to a Dr. Joe Dispenza meditation. You can listen to one of my own meditations, which I will attach in the description down below. That's how I would refer you to do it, is either listen to one of his meditations or listen to one of my meditations, both of which will tap you into the feeling state, will tap you into the quantum field of the reality that you already have a bunch of money in. Step four. This is the most important and this is where most people mess up, so I want you to listen to me very carefully. Step four, act on your inspiration. When you embody the state of being of the version of you who lives in a abundant reality, you're going to get hits of inspiration. You're going to get guidance, intuitive guidance that tells you to do this. Leave this job, pursue this job and a lot of things in between that. You're going to get hits of inspiration. And step four is be courageous enough to act on your inspiration. This is where most people mess up, right? This is where the, the Zen, the secret people, they get hits of inspiration, but they don't do anything. Dr. Joe Dispenza would say you have to embody it. You have to do the thing you know you must do in order to actualize it, in order to bring it here in the physical. Step three was we brought it into the energetic quantum field. Step four is to bring it here. And it's up to you to do that. Nobody else is going to do it for you. It's up to you to act on your inspiration, to be courageous enough, to be bold enough to do what you know you must do. Step four act on your inspiration. Nobody can tell you how to do this. You just have to do it. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. And it's so easy to do this, or I should say it's much easier to do this when you've really embodied the state of being that you associate with the version of you who is already wealthy and abundant. And you already did that in step three by listening to a Joe Dispenza or one of my meditations. Step five, stay the course. Step five is stay the course to continue to show up every single day, to continue to embody your state of being that you associate with your end result every single day, no matter what, to take your cues from your state of being, from the quantum realm. Do not take your cues from external circumstance. Do not judge whether or not you are on the right path based off of what is showing up in your life. Only judge whether or not you are on the right path based off of your energetic state of being. That is so important. So step five is stay the course. Prioritize your state of being above anything else. When you notice yourself doing something that makes you feel crummy, check in with yourself. Okay, why am I feeling crummy here? Is it because it's totally out of alignment? Is it because I'm going to a job that I hate? Part of my language? If so, well, you're going to get hits of inspiration that guide you to do what you know you must do. And you have to do it. You have to do it. And stay the course. 
and have faith in the quantum field. Have faith in the quantum field. When you embody this new state of being, just know that it is done. It is done, it is done. The only thing that you must do is continue to embody that state of being. And the rest will take care of itself. This is so important. This was one of the biggest things that I really emphasized as I left my job and prioritized doing my own coaching, doing my own business, and making this into a full-time abundant way of living. Is there were times where things weren't being reflected to me the way that I wish they had, but I didn't give any power to those circumstances. I just came back inward, prioritized my state of being, and eventually things started to reflect to me in alignment to my energetic state. Hopefully this is making sense to you. I want to encourage you to commit to a seven day challenge that is going to super accelerate your wealth attraction. Here is the seven day challenge. For the next seven days, no matter what, embody, embody the, frequency the frequency of the of version, version of, of you, you who is already, already incredibly, incredibly wealthy and abundant. abundant. Prioritize your state of being. Let's see if I can articulate this in a clearer way. Embody the frequency you associate with the version of you who is already attracting a bunch of wealth. And the way you turn this into something practical is listen to a guided meditation that puts you in a state of wealth sensation that gives you the experience of being wealthy, of being free, of being abundant. So the seven day challenge is listen to one of Joe Dispenza's meditations or listen to one of my meditations. And those things will put you into a really high vibe. And all you have to do from there is act on your inspiration. So the seven day challenge is listen to a meditation that is going to put you in a high vibe state. That's all you have to do. The rest will take care of itself. Do not give power to the external circumstance. Prioritize the quantum field above anything else. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, I ask that you do me a huge favor and you subscribe to our channel. You like this video, you give us a comment. Let us know what you thought, any feedback, any suggestions, any questions. I'm open ears and please, one of the coolest things you can do for me is twofold. Go live your best life and go attract a bunch of money because you freaking deserve it and you are so incredibly worthy and deserving of an epic freaking life. So do what you know you must do to manifest and attract that life. Number two, share this video with somebody who you feel like will benefit from the content. Thank you so much. I'll talk to y'all later.